I'm going to show you a totally insane exploit in Sons of the Forest that's going to give you the best base location in the entire game. Nobody will even know where the hell you are, but you'll be able to go here whenever you want. So right now, we are out of bounds in what I like to call space, because there is no space in this game, but this is as close as you're going to get to outer space. So I'm right now precariously on a rock that for some reason has collision underneath of the map. So you can go here and build a decent sized home for yourself and you can come and go whenever you want. And in theory, you could even do this without the log duplication exploit. You could actually build this. It would just be kind of annoying. It would take a lot longer, but you definitely could do it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let me go back to the entrance of this cave. Okay. So over here is the entrance to a cave. Now, if you saw my other video about how to build inside of caves, uh, then you'll know what this is about. If not, check out that video to see how to build inside of caves. So what we need to do in order to do this is a bunch of different things. So first off, if you're not going to use the log dupe exploit, then you're going to have to bring logs into this cave. So in order to bring logs into this cave, you'll have to do it two at a time, and you'll have to go here, look to the side, and then throw them like that, and then try to get them in there, and then wedge them, and then walk through and grab them from the other side. Now, this cave, in particular, is over here on the map. It is the one that you get the rope gun from. So, if you want to do this, this is the only cave I know of that's going to have something insane like this. But in theory, um, you could do this without the log dupe exploit. You could walk in and then grab those logs from the other side, and then keep doing that until you have, like, 50 logs to work with or something, and then you're going to do the next part of this exploit, which is to grab, be on the outside, grab two logs... Change it to where it's a circle placement, and then come back here, and you'll walk into this corner and stop, and it'll wedge you forward a little bit. Then you're going to look back here and try to place a log on the left, way back there, which will bring you into the cave, but not all the way. Not into the load trigger. Now you're going to look to the right and up towards this crack and place one up here, and now you're going to look to the right and place one over here, and you're going to keep trying to place them over here until maybe a little bit over the left... Okay, and then we're going to grab it, and we're going to try to grab, try to do it. Uh, jeez, we might have, might have, like, might not have to reset, might have to reset. Let's see. You're going to be trying to get out of bounds here, but normally it goes a little bit smoother than this. Uh, uh right now, though, I think, I don't think it's going to, it's going to work out, unfortunately. So, yeah, I kind of messed this one up. Let me, let me go ahead and reset, and let's, let's try this again. I guess if I need to get out, I can just hold E, though. And then I could walk out or in wherever the hell I'm at uh, in order to reset this and then try again. So let me go back out. Okay, so let's grab two logs again. Let's try this again. Usually it's pretty consistent. That's the first time I botched it in a little while. Let me grab two logs. Okay, so we're going to go back here. Look back there. Get me back into here. Try again. All right, we're back in the middle. Then we're going to look off to the side. Try to get through this wall. Uh, it looks like it's going to slowly shove me out. Alright, we're going to have to reset again. We're going to go... Oh, geez. Okay, well, that that's one way. I've never done it that way before, but okay, we just shot all the way through into the cave. Um, let me go ahead and try to reset this again. I, wait, what just happened? There's no trees. Oh. Okay, well, anyway... All right, let's go back in now. All right, so we're going to go over here. going to walk in and then try to place it back here. I don't even know where it went. Try again. Okay, it didn't work. All right, we got it. Now we got to look over here. There we go. Maybe it was looking down more. All right, now we're out of bounds. We grab this log. We can jump to get up here. Now we're stuck, so we're going to place a log right here. Now we're up here. So if you saw my other video, you know what's going on now. Um, also, I don't know stam... Oh my god, my stamina is so low. All right, let me see if I can make this jump. So we need to make this jump. All right, so we're good. Now we can get into here. And now we're inside of the cave, except now we can build. So what you would do now is you'll go over here. You can walk through these walls. Do not walk too far, though, because you'll fall off the map. Only so much of the cave is loaded in. We're going to walk over to here, 
and if you come through here you'll see all this so what you'll do is you'll build a um <laughs> there's those deer by the way uh you'll build like a little beam right here so that you can zip line over to there and then what you're gonna do is you're going to go up here and you're going to ship logs over there so at first before you build anything you'll have to put the zip line let me just throw these down but before you've built anything i got i gotta get my guy to shut up though hold up we gotta we gotta pop an energy drink i can't stand the the noises all right so grab the rope gun first time you've done you do it you go up this high and that's so you can get an angle and then you can see off in the distance you would aim towards the front of the ledge like right there and then attach it up here and ship logs over to it uh and if you because uh, but if you do it like that and try to go like take it you'll come up short and you'll fall off the map so after you're done transporting some logs over there at first uh so you make another beam you need like at least one log get one log over there then delete it like that like this one right here you delete then you do another one where you aim at the back side so that you can get there because if, if like if you do the front side the log will shoot back and it'll land on there but if you do the back the front side and you go you'll fall off if you do the back side and send the log it'll go flying off the back but if you do the back side and then you go on it then you'll make the you know you'll go and you'll be able to land there so then once you have you know your logs over there and you're ready to go you'll zip line over to this place and then you'll build this little platform like I made in order to make it so you can actually more consistently go back and forth. And then you'll get to building your dream base on a rock floating in the sky. Um, even though we're not in the sky, we're underground. I, I don't even have words for what this is, guys. I don't even know what to tell you about this place. Uh, I wonder if I could shoot that deer from underground. I don't know that I can even do it. I would need a gun. I don't have one on the save. But yeah, so uh, this is the totally ridiculous outer space base location. And you can come here anytime that you want, basically. You just have to do that trick at the entrance of the cave so you can get out of bounds. But then you could literally go here whenever you want. You literally just go here and hang out. Uh, go here, build a base. And then, you know, whenever you want, you just actually come back. It's easier to get out than it is to get in. But with some practice, you can literally get in in like just a minute or two, and then you're back, and you're you're back in here working on your base. So, yeah, this thing is, it's it's an adventure, guys. It's it's been a real adventure finding this. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope someone out there enjoys this. Now you know how to build out of bounds in space in Sons of the Forest. Also, if this video helped you out and you want to help me, check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. It's a game that I'm making. Just go wishlist it. Link for that in the description of this video. Also, check out the description of this video for other helpful Sons of the Forest videos, exploits, tricks, building guides, all sorts of cool stuff.